Welcome to a journey through the profound wisdom of Stoicism. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher who navigated the turbulent waters of both wealth and adversity, stands as a testament to the enduring power of Stoic principles. Despite his roller coaster life, from immense wealth to being sentenced to death, Seneca remained steadfast in his Stoic beliefs. He famously said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This encapsulates the Stoic focus on mastering our perceptions and reactions to external events, rather than being controlled by them. Seneca's life and teachings offer us a roadmap to cultivating resilience and tranquility. He taught that true happiness comes not from amassing wealth or status, but from living in harmony with nature and practicing self-control. His insights are not just philosophical musings. They are practical tools for anyone seeking peace and fulfillment in a chaotic world. As we explore these 50 Stoic rules for a better life, let Seneca's legacy guide us. His experiences and teachings shine a light on how to face life's ups and downs with a calm mind and a resilient spirit. Join me in uncovering these timeless Stoic principles that can transform our daily lives. Rules 1. Amor Fati. Embracing your fate. In the realm of Stoicism, there exists a compelling concept known as Amor Fati, which translates to a profound love for one's fate. This principle beckons us to wholeheartedly embrace not only the joys and triumphs of life, but also its trials and tribulations. Each hurdle is a stepping stone towards personal growth and evolution. It's akin to boldly declaring to life. Go ahead, challenge me with your fiercest storms, and watch as I skillfully navigate through them, emerging stronger. The unpredictability of life is a given, isn't it? There are moments when our meticulously laid plans go awry, and it's precisely in these instances that the ethos of Amor Fati becomes our guiding light. It propels us to accept the cards we're dealt with grace and to ingeniously transform even the most daunting of circumstances into opportunities for positive change. It's about cultivating resilience, about steadfastly proclaiming, I refuse to be a puppet of circumstances. Instead, I will be the architect of my response to them. Marcus Aurelius once said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This encapsulates the essence of Amor Fati, urging us to find strength in adversity, to turn obstacles into pathways. In our modern lives, this philosophy is more relevant than ever. In a world where change is the only constant, embracing Amor Fati equips us with a mindset to not just endure, but thrive amidst life's inevitable fluctuations. It's a call to action, encouraging us to view life's challenges not as hindrances but as catalysts for growth, resilience, and ultimately, a more fulfilling existence. Rules 2. Contributing to the Common Good the concept of serving others holds a profound significance. It transcends mere selflessness. It's an acknowledgement that our contributions to the community or the world at large are not just acts of kindness towards others, but also a source of deep personal fulfillment and purpose. This idea resonates with the stoic belief in the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of contributing to the common good. Each time you extend a helping hand or positively influence someone's life, it's akin to sowing a seed of goodness. This seed, however, doesn't just flourish in the life of the recipient. It also blooms within you. You experience a profound sense of connection and the realization that your actions have made a tangible difference. It's a powerful reminder that our journey through life isn't a solitary one. We are, in every essence, woven into the fabric of each other's lives. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, What is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. This quote beautifully encapsulates the essence of contributing to the common good. It's a call to recognize that our individual actions have a ripple effect, impacting the broader community and, in turn, reflecting back on us. So, as you navigate through your day, remember that every act of kindness Every gesture of support is not just a gift to others, but also a gift to yourself. It's an opportunity to experience the joy of giving, 
the fulfillment of contributing to something larger than yourself, and the profound sense of being part of a greater whole. This is the beauty of the Stoic journey, a path where serving others becomes a gateway to discovering our own purpose and joy. Embracing this principle, if you're new here, I warmly invite you to subscribe to our channel and Stoic in your life. Your subscription is more than just a click. It's a step towards joining a community devoted to exploring the profound wisdom of Stoicism and integrating it into our modern lives. And to our returning viewers, your insights and experiences are invaluable to us. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Your engagement is not just appreciated, it's desired. It's your small actions that fuel our mission and help us see the impact of our work. By interacting with us, you contribute to a larger conversation, helping us deliver more value and enrich lives. Let's continue this journey together, making each day a testament to the enduring power of Stoic principles in our contemporary world. Rules 3. Tolerance with others strict with yourself. Firstly, let's talk about the art of balance. Imagine you're walking a tightrope between compassion for others and rigorous self. Improvement. On one side, there's patience and understanding for those around you. It's about embracing the fact that everyone's journey is unique, and not everyone will align with your expectations. Instead of casting judgment, offer a hand of understanding and support. Now, shift your gaze to the other side of the rope where you're your own strict yet encouraging coach. Here, you set lofty goals for personal growth, constantly nudging yourself towards excellence. This delicate dance of balance is beautifully encapsulated in the words of the Stoic philosopher, Seneca. While we teach, we learn. It's about learning from others while also being a student of your own life. Rules 4. Self-discipline. Self-discipline is your personal internal compass. It's that inner voice guiding you to make choices that align with your deepest goals, even when life's distractions and temptations beckon you towards an easier path. Think of it as your secret weapon in achieving your dreams. It's about taking action consistently, even on days when motivation seems far away. Self-discipline is the architect of good habits, shaping your work ethic, health routines, and personal growth. It's like having a loyal friend who always nudges you towards your best self. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This is the essence of Stoic self-discipline. It's not just about control, but about understanding and harnessing the power of your mind to stay true to your course. In summary, Stoicism teaches us that self Discipline is less about rigid control and more about understanding and directing our inner strength to align with our true goals. It's a tool that helps us navigate the modern world with clarity and purpose, staying true to ourselves amidst the chaos of everyday life. Rules 5 Morning Routine Your Blueprint for Success Your morning routine is the cornerstone of your day a sacred time where you orchestrate the rhythm and tone for the hours that follow. It's in these early moments, perhaps in the quiet embrace of dawn, where you engage in practices that imbue your day with purpose and clarity. This could manifest as a period of meditation, a physical workout, or the simple yet profound act of planning your day. Consider this routine as your personal blueprint for success. It's not about adhering to a string and schedule but rather about carving out a niche for self-nurturing and growth. Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic philosopher, once said, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This aligns seamlessly with the idea of beginning your day with intention. When you do so, it's remarkable how this act of mindfulness amplifies your productivity and enhances your overall state of well-being. It's akin to giving yourself a strategic advantage in the relentless marathon of life. In our modern, fast-paced world, where the lines between work and personal life often blur, a structured morning routine becomes even more crucial. It's a way to reclaim a sense of control and establish a state of mental and emotional equilibrium before diving into the day's demands. By doing so, 
You not only prepare yourself for the challenges ahead, but also cultivate a resilient and serene mindset, essential for navigating the complexities of contemporary life. This practice, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, offers a powerful tool for transformation and empowerment, guiding you towards a more fulfilled and balanced existence. Rule 6. The Art of Simplifying Our Lives Your life is a room brimming with objects of varying significance. Among these, some hold immense value, others are mere clutter, and a few simply occupy space without purpose. Essentialism teaches us to navigate through this room with discerning eyes, identifying what is genuinely precious and gracefully parting with the unnecessary. It's akin to decluttering, but on a profoundly deeper level. It's about decluttering the mind. This philosophy encourages us to embrace a life of simplicity by focusing on what truly matters. It's about making conscious choices, choosing to say no to the things that don't resonate with our core values and yes to what genuinely enriches our lives. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Seneca, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This sentiment captures the essence of essentialism perfectly. It's not about having less for the sake of minimalism, but about having more of what truly adds value to our existence. By adopting this approach, we clear the mental clutter that often clouds our judgment and hinders our progress. It's about creating space, not just in our physical surroundings, but in our minds and hearts, for what's truly important. This practice of discernment and focus brings with it a clarity and a sense of purpose guiding us to lead lives that are not just busy but meaningful and fulfilling. As we embark on this journey of essentialism, we find ourselves aligning more closely with the Stoic ideal of living a life of virtue and purpose, where every choice is a reflection of our deepest values and aspirations. Rule 7. Embracing Change Life, as we know, is full of unexpected twists and turns. It's unpredictable often throwing challenges our way when we least expect them. But here's where the power of adaptability comes into play. It's like having a superpower that enables us to navigate through life's uncertainties with grace and resilience. The essence of adaptability is about being as flexible and resilient as a bamboo tree in a storm, bending and swaying with the winds of change, yet never breaking. It's about not resisting the winds of change but learning to move with them to embrace them as opportunities for growth and learning. Adaptability is a mindset, a way of looking at the world that says, I am capable of handling whatever life throws at me. It's about thriving in a world that's constantly changing, evolving, and presenting new challenges. This mindset is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, You have power over your mind not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This powerful statement resonates with our theme, emphasizing the importance of internal resilience and the ability to maintain composure in the face of external upheaval. So, as we navigate through our daily lives, let's embrace adaptability. Let's see change not as an obstacle, but as a path to personal growth and development. By adopting this stoic mindset, we can turn every challenge into an opportunity, every unexpected turn into a learning experience. This is how we grow, how we evolve, and how we thrive in our modern, ever-changing world. Remember in the face of change, be like the bamboo. Bend, but never break. Rules 8. Turning Dreams into Reality it's one thing to be knowledgeable, but quite another to apply that knowledge. Action is the catalyst that transforms dreams into tangible achievements. Imagine you have a treasure map. Knowing the map is there is one thing, but it's the journey, the action of following those clues to uncover the treasure, that truly matters. It's about setting sail, in pursuit of your dreams, not just reading about distant lands. Reflecting on this, Let's turn to a story from the Stoic philosopher Seneca. He once said, It's not because things are difficult that we dare not venture. It's because we dare not venture that they are difficult. Seneca's words remind us that the path to our dreams is often paved with challenges, but it's our courage to take action, 
that makes all the difference. So as you navigate through your day, remember these lessons. Embrace change as an opportunity for growth. And don't just dream or plan, act. Let these stories and the wisdom of Stoicism guide you in transforming your life, making it not just a journey of survival, but one of thriving and fulfillment. Rules 9. Memento Mori Memento Mori A Latin phrase translating to Remember you will die. While it may initially sound somber, it's actually an invigorating wake-up call, urging us to live each day as though it could be our last. Imagine greeting each morning with the awareness that today might be your final chance to experience life's wonders. This isn't a focus on the end, but a passionate embrace of every moment. A reminder to value and cherish our time. Memento Mori serves as a gentle yet persistent voice in our minds, reminding us of the preciousness of time. It encourages us to focus on what genuinely matters, to seek joy and fulfillment in our actions and relationships. It's a call to live with intention, to prioritize the essential over the trivial. Let me share with you a story from the Stoic philosopher Seneca. He once said, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Seneca's life was a testament to living with purpose, understanding that each moment is a gift not to be squandered. His teachings inspire us to look at our lives and ask, Are we truly living or merely existing? As we reflect on this, let's consider how we can apply memento mori in our daily lives. It's about making conscious choices, engaging deeply with our loved ones, and pursuing passions that light up our souls. It's a reminder to live authentically, with courage and zest. In conclusion, memento mori is not just a concept but a practical guide. It teaches us to embrace life's fleeting nature and to make the most of our time. Let this be a call to action for you, dear listener, to live a life rich in experiences, love, and purpose. Remember, each day is a new opportunity to create a life that truly reflects who you are and what you cherish. Let's not wait for tomorrow. Let's start today. Rules 10. Bouncing back from life's challenges. Life as we know it can be unpredictable, often throwing challenges our way. Resilience is like having a flexible yet sturdy backbone, enabling you to stand up after being knocked down. It's about transforming obstacles into stepping stones for growth, developing a mental fortitude that doesn't just withstand adversity, but thrives in it. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This mindset turns every challenge into a chance to strengthen your resilience. In this journey of Stoicism, we're learning to balance compassion with self-discipline and to see challenges not as roadblocks but as opportunities for growth. It's about being kind and patient with others while pushing ourselves towards our highest potential and developing the resilience to not just endure but to grow from life's challenges. Remember in the words of Epictetus Maus Angrani, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Let's carry this wisdom with us as we navigate the ebbs and flows of life. Thank you all for tuning in and being a part of our video today. Your presence and engagement mean the world to us. We encourage you to stay with us for more insightful and enriching content that's coming up. Your thoughts and perspectives are invaluable. So please don't hesitate to hit the like button and leave your personal comments about the topics we've discussed. Your interaction not only supports our channel, but also enriches our community with diverse viewpoints. Thank you once again for joining us on this stoic journey. Rules 11. Empathy. In the journey of life, particularly for men navigating the complexities of their middle years, the principles of stoicism can serve as a guiding light. Empathy, the art of stepping into another's shoes, is more than mere understanding. It's a heartfelt connection. Picture yourself in a bustling city street amidst strangers each harboring their own stories and struggles. When you empathize, you're not just a passerby. You become a compassionate listener to the silent tales around you. It's akin to a quote by the Stoic philosopher Seneca. We are waves of the same sea, leaves of the same tree flowers of the same garden. This perspective fosters a bond with others, 
enabling us to navigate the intricate web of human emotions with kindness and understanding. It's about seeing, hearing, and being there for others, creating deep, meaningful connections that enrich our lives and those around us. In our modern world, their stoic principles are not just philosophical concepts, but practical tools. Empathy allows us to build stronger, more understanding relationships, vital in both personal and professional spheres. By practicing empathy, we become more compassionate and understanding, improving our relationships and fostering a sense of community. Rules 12. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is the art of anchoring oneself in the present. In a world where worries about the past and anxieties about the future often overwhelm us, mindfulness is a sanctuary of peace. Imagine savoring a cup of coffee, feeling its warmth and tasting its richness undistracted by the noise of life. It's about embracing the present, much like enjoying the gentle touch of the sun on a cool morning. This practice brings tranquility and clarity, liberating us from the chains of stress and anxiety. It reminds us of the words of Marcus Aurelius. Confine yourself to the present. By focusing on the now, we open ourselves to the beauty and simplicity of life, enhancing our well, being, and equanimity. Mindfulness in its essence offers a way to reduce stress and increase productivity by focusing our energies on what truly matters at the moment. It's guiding us towards a more fulfilling and serene life resonating with the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and seamlessly integrating into our daily hustle. Incorporating these practices into our daily routines can transform the way we interact with the world. By keeping us grounded in the present, enhances our focus and decision, making leading to a more balanced and productive life. Rules 13. Purpose Guiding Your Life In the journey of life, the question, What's my purpose? often echoes in our minds. Stoicism, with its profound wisdom, illuminates this path, teaching us that our purpose is the guiding star in the vast sky of existence. It's not just a fleeting thought but a mission, infusing our daily actions with meaning and direction. Consider the words of Seneca, a Stoic philosopher. Our plans miscarry because they have no aim. When a man does not know what harbor he is making for, no wind is the right wind. This notion of purpose ignites our passion and drive, empowering us to face life's hurdles with unwavering resolve. It's about waking up each day with a clear sense of why we do what we do, transforming our life's journey into a purpose-driven expedition. Rules 14. Continuous learning. Never stop growing. Picture life as an endless odyssey of growth and enlightenment. Stoicism prompts us to embrace perpetual learning adopting the mindset of a lifelong student. It's akin to declaring, I am forever learning from life's vast classroom. This philosophy of continuous learning sharpens our intellect, broadens our horizons, and refreshes our perspectives. Each new piece of knowledge adds a vibrant hue to the canvas of our life, enriching our narrative with depth and color. This quest for knowledge not only enriches our understanding, but also ensures that our journey through life remains an exciting and evolving adventure. Rules 15. Gratitude. Counting your blessings. Have you paused to reflect on the blessings that adorn your life? Gratitude is the soul's embrace and acknowledgement of the abundance surrounding us. It's about appreciating the people, experiences, and moments that enhance our existence. Echoing the words of Epictetus, another Stoic thinker, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This practice of gratitude redirects our focus from scarcity to abundance, filling our hearts with a sense of contentment and peace. It's a gentle reminder to express gratitude to the universe for all the wondrous experiences it offers, thereby enriching our life's tapestry with gratitude's golden threads. Rule 16. Patience Mastering the Art of Waiting Imagine you're in a bustling city where everything moves at lightning speed. Amidst this chaos, patience stands out as a serene island. It's more than just waiting. It's about embracing calmness in the midst of delays and frustrations. 
Think of it as standing patiently in a long queue at your favorite coffee shop, not perturbed by the slow, moving line. This skill is crucial, akin to a shield guarding you against the arrows of stress and agitation. Patience allows you to observe, reflect, and make decisions from a place of tranquility rather than impulse. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This encapsulates the essence of patience urging you to find contentment in the here and now rather than being consumed by what's next. Rule 17. Kindness, small acts, big impact. Now let's switch our focus to kindness, a virtue that's like a gentle touch in a hard world. Kindness is the art of spreading warmth and compassion, not just to others, but also to yourself. It's akin to a small candle lighting up a dark room where even the smallest act can illuminate someone's day. It's choosing to be gentle, understanding, and compassionate in a world that often feels indifferent. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once remarked, Kindness is mankind's greatest delight. Highlighting the profound impact, kindness has not just on recipients, but also on those who practice it. This ripple effect of positivity can transform environments, relationships, and perspectives, making the world a little brighter, one act of kindness at a time. Rules 18. Courage. Facing your fears. Courage. A vital stoic virtue. Courage is the strength to face your fears, not the absence of fear itself. It's like stepping into a storm, knowing the challenges ahead yet moving forward. Courage is acknowledging your fears, doubts, and uncertainties, but choosing to act despite them. It's the voice inside you that says, I am scared, but I will not be stopped. This trait empowers you to confront life's hurdles, be it speaking your truth, standing up for your values, or pursuing your dreams. Epictetus, another Stoic thinker, once stated, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This emphasizes the role of courage in shaping our responses to life's challenges, encouraging us to meet them with resilience and determination. In conclusion, these stoic virtues of patience, kindness, and courage are not just philosophical concepts, but practical tools for personal growth and fulfillment. By embracing patience, you learn to navigate life's delays with composure. Through acts of kindness, you create waves of positivity that uplift yourself and others. And with courage, you empower yourself to face your fears and overcome obstacles. As you embark on your journey of self-improvement, remember these lessons from Stoicism and let them guide you towards a more meaningful and contented life. Rules 19. Embracing a Minimalist Approach in the realm of Stoicism, the principle of simplicity is akin to a tranquil harbor in a stormy sea. It's not merely about organizing your surroundings, but also about cultivating an uncluttered mind. Picture the process of simplifying your life as akin to the philosophy of Marie Kondo, where each element in your life is evaluated for its contribution to your well-being. By shedding the superfluous, you allow yourself to focus on the essentials thereby reducing stress and enhancing clarity. This minimalist approach aligns seamlessly with the Stoic belief in focusing on what's within our control and letting go of the extraneous. As Seneca once said, it is not the man who has too little but the man who craves more that is poor. In today's fast-paced world, embracing simplicity can be a powerful antidote to the chaos, bringing tranquility and focus. Rules 20 Building Trust in Relationships In the Stoic journey, honesty is the bedrock upon which trust and integrity stand. It's comparable to the foundation of a robust structure, essential and unyielding. Honesty in Stoicism is not just about truthfulness in speech but also in action. It's a commitment to authenticity, akin to a silent oath that says, I hold honesty as my guiding star, unwavering in its light. This steadfastness in honesty fosters deep trust and strengthens bonds in all forms of relationships. In a world often clouded by half-truths and deception, being a beacon of honesty can transform your interactions and build lasting connections. As Marcus Aurelius wisely stated, 
If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Honesty, therefore, is not just a moral choice, but a stoic duty. Rules 21. Nurturing Body and Mind Consider your body and mind as a sacred temple, as the Stoics did. A healthy lifestyle, from this perspective, is an act of reverence towards this temple. It encompasses not just physical activities and a balanced diet, but also the nurturing of mental and emotional well-being. Regular exercise and mindful eating are akin to rituals that honor the temple of our existence. Moreover, mental self, care, through practices like meditation and reflection, fortifies our inner resilience. This holistic approach to health is crucial in equipping us to face life's adversities with vigor and composure. In the words of Epictetus, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Thus caring for your body and mind is not just about personal well-being. It's a stoic practice of preparing oneself for the vicissitudes of life with strength and serenity. Rules 22. Letting go of resentment. Imagine carrying a heavy stone in your hand, its weight constantly reminding you of its presence. This is akin to holding on to a grudge. Forgiveness, in the stoic sense, is akin to opening your hand and letting that stone fall away. It's not about saying what was done is okay, but rather choosing to release yourself from the ongoing burden of anger and resentment. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, To be wronged is nothing, unless you continue to remember it. This encapsulates the essence of forgiveness in Stoicism. It is a deliberate choice to prioritize your peace over clinging to past pains. It's a conscious decision to say, I choose tranquility and freedom over the weight of past grievances. Rules 23. Treating others with dignity. Respect in Stoicism is akin to the golden rule, which is beautifully encapsulated in the words of Marcus Aurelius. What is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. This means treating others as you wish to be treated, recognizing the inherent worth and dignity in every individual, regardless of their background or beliefs. Respect is the cornerstone of harmonious coexistence, fostering understanding and unity in a world rich with diversity. It's a commitment to saying, I acknowledge and honor the value in every person, thereby creating an environment where mutual respect flourishes. Rules 24. A Brighter Perspective In the face of life's inevitable challenges, optimism is like a lighthouse guiding us through stormy seas. It's the unwavering belief that no matter how dire the situation, there is always a potential for improvement and positive change. Epictetus, another Stoic sage, advised, Do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. This perspective encourages a positive outlook, even in the darkest times, fostering resilience and a hopeful heart. It's about maintaining a sunny disposition that not only uplifts your spirit, but also spreads positivity to those around you, like rays of sunshine piercing through the clouds. Rules 25. Responsibility. Embracing the role of life's captain. In the journey of life, embracing responsibility is akin to being the steadfast captain of your own ship. It's not just about acknowledging your choices, but deeply understanding that each decision and action is a brushstroke in the grand painting of your life. When you own up to your mistakes, it's not an admission of defeat, but a courageous act of learning and evolving. Think of responsibility as the pen in your hand, with which you author the unique story of your life. It's a commitment to integrity, a promise to yourself that every chapter, whether triumphant or challenging, is written with honesty and reflection. This concept echoes the Stoic belief in the power of personal agency, as famously stated by Epictetus. We are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. By adopting this mindset, you not only navigate your life with more clarity, but also cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience. Rules 26 Balance, Crafting Harmony in Life Symphony Visualize life as a symphony, where balance is the key to a harmonious composition. It's the art of ensuring that no single aspect, 
be it work, relationships, or personal growth, overwhelms the melody of your existence. This balance is crucial in preventing burnout and fostering a well-rounded, fulfilling life. It's about fine-tuning your daily activities, much like a maestro, to ensure that each note, each responsibility, resonates in harmony with the others. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Balance is about wisely allocating our time and energy, ensuring that we live fully in each moment, and nurturing all facets of our being. By striving for this equilibrium, you're not just surviving the day. Today, you're thriving in a life that sings with purpose and joy. Rules 27. Focus the art of present engagement. In our modern world, brimming with distractions, mastering the art of focus is akin to possessing a superpower. It's the ability to channel your energies and attention to the task at hand, resisting the siren calls of endless interruptions. This singular focus is not just about enhancing productivity. It's about being wholly present and engaged in the current moment. It's a declaration that says, Here and now, I am fully immersed in what I am doing. This philosophy aligns with the Stoic practice of mindfulness and living in the present. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once said, Concentrate every minute like a Roman, like a man, on doing what's in front of you with precise and genuine seriousness, tenderly, willingly, with justice. By cultivating focus, you're not merely completing tasks. You're experiencing life in its fullest, most vibrant form where each action is intentional and meaningful. Rules 28. Humility. Embracing your imperfections. In the journey of life, humility stands as a beacon of strength, not weakness. It's akin to acknowledging, I am imperfect and that's perfectly fine. This virtue is not just about recognizing our flaws, but also about understanding our limitations and accepting that we don't hold all the answers. It's akin to a student forever eager to learn, open to absorbing wisdom from every corner of life. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. In our modern world, where there's a constant race to prove oneself, humility allows us to pause, reflect, and grow. It teaches us to value others' perspectives and experiences fostering a community of shared learning and mutual respect. Rules 29. Adaptability. Embrace the flow of life. Consider life as a river, constantly flowing, ever changing, and full of twists and turns. Embracing adaptability is like becoming a master navigator on this river, skillfully adjusting your sails to the ever-changing winds. It's about acknowledging that change is the only constant and saying, I am ready to adapt and evolve with life's dynamic currents. This approach is crucial in today's fast-paced world, where change is rapid and often unexpected. By embracing adaptability, we learn not just to survive, but to thrive amidst life's uncertainties, transforming potential obstacles into stepping stones for growth and success. Rules 30. Mindset. The Power of Perspective. The power of mindset is profoundly captured in the adage, it's all in your head. Our mindset is the architect of our reality, shaping our experiences and perceptions. Adopting a growth mindset is like planting a seed of belief that effort and continuous learning can significantly enhance our abilities. It's about embracing the mantra. Through dedication and perseverance, I can grow and evolve. This perspective is especially relevant in our contemporary society, where challenges and setbacks are often seen as roadblocks. By shifting our mindset, we can transform these challenges into valuable opportunities for personal development and resilience, embodying the stoic principle of turning obstacles into pathways. Rules 31. Self-reflection. The mirror of the soul. Self. Reflection is akin to gazing into a mirror that reflects the essence of your soul. It involves a deliberate pause in the hustle of life to introspect, to delve deeply into the labyrinth of your thoughts, emotions, and actions. Picture yourself saying, I'm on a quest to understand the depths of my being. 
This process of self-reflection is not just an exercise in self-awareness, but a journey towards personal growth, better decision-making, and the discovery of inner peace. It's reminiscent of the Stoic practice of evening reflection, where philosophers like Seneca would examine their day, not to berate themselves for shortcomings, but to learn and grow. This introspection is a powerful tool, allowing you to align your actions with your values, and in doing so, find a serene harmony within. Rules 32. Acceptance of Imperfection. Embracing Your Humanity. In the realm of Stoicism, the acceptance of imperfection is a vital step in embracing our humanity. It's akin to granting yourself the grace to be flawed, to acknowledge, I am human, and my imperfections are part of my journey. This principle teaches us that striving for perfection is a Sisyphean task, an unattainable goal that can lead to endless dissatisfaction. Instead, it encourages us to learn from our mistakes, to view each error as a stepping stone towards growth. This echoes the teachings of Epictetus, who believed that our reactions to our imperfections are more important than the imperfections themselves. By accepting our flaws and learning from them, we can continue to grow and evolve, embracing the journey with all its ups and downs. Rules 33. Invest in learning. The currency of growth. Consider the pursuit of knowledge as an endless treasure hunt, where each piece of learning is a precious gem added to your trove. Investing in learning is a lifelong commitment to expanding your mind, acquiring new skills and embracing diverse perspectives. It's a declaration of, I am dedicated to continual self-improvement. This pursuit of knowledge is not just about academic learning. It's about gaining wisdom and understanding which are central to Stoic philosophy. The Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius, saw learning as a way to equip oneself for life's challenges, to keep the mind sharp and resilient. By continuously investing in learning, you are not just expanding your intellectual horizons, but also nurturing a vibrant, adaptable, and resilient mind, ready to face the ever changing tides of life. Rules 34. The Art of Admiration. Admiring others is not merely about acknowledging someone's talents or achievements. It's an act of recognizing and celebrating the unique qualities, skills, or accomplishments that individuals around us possess. Imagine looking at someone and thinking, I see your greatness and I honor it. This act of admiration is more than just a passive observation. It's an active engagement in building positive connections and fostering a supportive community. It's akin to the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who often spoke of the virtues of others, not just to praise them but to learn from them and to encourage a community of virtue and excellence. Rules 35. Unconditional Love Unconditional love is like an endless wellspring of affection, where you love someone deeply without any expectations or conditions. It's an expression that says, I love you for who you are, no matter what. This principle is not just about the warmth and belonging it brings. It's a testament to our capacity for profound connections, echoing the stoic belief in the universal brotherhood of mankind. It's about seeing the intrinsic value in others and loving them for their essence, not just for what they can offer us or how they make us feel. Schorschul's 36. 36. Cultivating Relationships Cultivating relationships means investing time and effort in nurturing connections with family, friends, and loved ones. It's an affirmation that says, I value our bond, and I'll make an effort to strengthen it. This practice is not just about enriching your life with joy. It's a reflection of the Stoic principle of mutual support and cooperation. Just as the Stoic philosopher Epictetus emphasized the importance of social relations and the role of individuals in the larger community, we too must recognize that building meaningful relationships is a cornerstone of a well-lived life deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. Rules 37. The Art of Respecting Time In the realm of Stoicism, time is viewed as a non-renewable treasure, and punctuality is its most sincere guardian. Embracing punctuality is not merely about being on time. It's a profound expression of valuing both your own time and that of others. It's akin to a silent declaration. 
I respect and honor our commitments by ensuring my timely presence. This practice of punctuality isn't just a courtesy, it's a cornerstone of reliability and trust in any relationship. As Seneca wisely stated, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Thus, punctuality is not just about time management, but about life management. Rules 38. The Poise and Elegance Graciousness in the Stoic view is akin to a harmonious dance in the theater of social interactions. It's about maintaining a serene composure, even amidst the whirlwind of life's challenges. By embodying graciousness, you're essentially conveying. In the face of adversity, I choose to respond with grace and poise. This quality doesn't just exude a sense of elegance. It's a testament to one's maturity and inner strength. Graciousness, therefore, is not just about external appearances, but about cultivating an inner resilience that reflects in your interactions with the world. Rules 39. Savor the joy of the present. In the Stoic journey, the art of savoring moments is akin to cherishing the essence of life itself. It's about immersing oneself fully in the present, appreciating the small yet profound beauties that life offers. This practice is like a gentle reminder. Each moment is a precious gift and I shall embrace its uniqueness. By savoring these moments, you're not just experiencing life. You're deepening your sense of contentment and mindfulness. Carter. As Marcus Aurelius once said, Confine yourself to the present. In doing so, you're not just living, you're thriving in the true essence of life's fleeting moments. Rules 40. Caring for our planet. Environmental awareness is akin to the role of a conscientious steward, entrusted with the care of our shared home, Earth. This awareness is not merely about recognizing the beauty and fragility of our planet, but it involves actively making choices that reduce our ecological footprint and safeguard the environment for future generations. It echoes the stoic principle of living in harmony with nature, as Marcus Aurelius once said, what is good for the hive is good for the bee, or by adopting environmentally conscious behaviors, we contribute to a sustainable and healthier world, aligning our actions with the greater good of our global community. Rules 41 a heart of giving. Generosity in the Stoic sense is comparable to an ever-flowing fountain of kindness and compassion. It transcends the mere act of giving. It embodies the spirit of sharing one's resources, be it time, wealth, or emotional support, freely and without the expectation of reciprocation. This selfless act resonates with the words of Seneca, we should give as we would receive, cheerfully, quickly, and without hesitation. In practicing generosity, we not only aid others but also cultivate a sense of community and goodwill. Reinforcing the Stoic belief in the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of contributing to the welfare of others. Rules 42. Harmony Within Inner peace from a Stoic perspective is akin to a tranquil oasis amidst the tumultuous seas of life. It represents the ability to maintain a state of calmness and serenity, even in the face of adversity and challenges. This concept is beautifully encapsulated in the words of Epictetus. He is the tranquil man who realizes that no one can hinder his purposes or disturb his serenity. Inner peace is not about the absence of conflict, but the ability to find solace and clarity within oneself. It enhances resilience, emotional well-being, and the capacity to navigate life's complexities with a serene and balanced mind. By cultivating inner peace, we not only improve our own lives but also positively influence those around us, embodying the stoic ideal of living a virtuous and harmonious life. Rules 43. Integrity. Integrity stands as a steadfast pillar in the realm of trustworthiness, akin to a lighthouse guiding ships through foggy waters. It involves the harmonious alignment of your actions with your core values, ensuring that honesty prevails even in solitude. Picture yourself as a guardian of your principles, unwavering in your commitment to do what is morally right, regardless of the circumstances. This steadfast adherence to integrity not only cements trust but also garners respect, 
in both personal and professional spheres. To illustrate this, consider the story of Cato the Younger, a Stoic known for his unwavering integrity. Despite immense pressure and life-threatening challenges, Cato remained steadfast in his principles embodying the true essence of integrity. Rules 44. Navigating Storms with Poise Calmness in Stoicism is akin to being the unshaken captain of a ship amidst a raging storm. It is the art of maintaining composure and grace under the most pressing of circumstances. Imagine yourself in the eye of a storm, yet keeping a clear mind and a steady heart, unswayed by the chaos that surrounds you. This serene state of mind not only enhances your decision-making abilities, but also elevates your leadership qualities. Reflect upon the teachings of Marcus Aurelius who, as a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, faced immense turmoil, yet remained a paragon of calmness, demonstrating that tranquility of mind is the greatest asset in times of distress. Rules 45. Curiosity. Curiosity in the context of Stoicism is like an ever-burning flame, constantly illuminating the path to knowledge and understanding. It is the relentless pursuit of learning, the eagerness to explore and question the world around us. Envision yourself as an explorer, always open to new ideas and endless possibilities, never ceasing to be amazed by the wonders of the universe. This insatiable curiosity not only keeps your mind actively engaged, but also fosters a spirit of continuous personal growth. Think of Zeno of Cediumer, and the founder of Stoicism, whose profound curiosity led him to establish one of the most influential schools of philosophy, encouraging us to always seek knowledge and truth. Rules 46. Unleashing the Wellspring Within Empowerment is akin to discovering a hidden well of strength and confidence within oneself. It involves recognizing and harnessing your unique abilities to not only achieve personal goals, but also to affect positive change in the world around you. Picture yourself as a sculptor, with empowerment being your chisel, carving out a path to success and fulfillment. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This quote underscores the importance of self, awareness and learning in the journey of empowerment. By listening to our inner voice in the world, we can better understand our potential and use it to overcome life's hurdles and challenges. Rules 47. The Art of Adapting and Thriving Resourcefulness is the skill of being a masterful problem solver, akin to having a Swiss army knife in the toolkit of life. It's about creatively navigating through obstacles, using limited resources to their utmost potential. Imagine yourself as a navigator, steering through uncharted waters, where resourcefulness is your compass, guiding you to find innovative solutions. This skill is not just about surviving but thriving in the face of adversity. In the words of Seneca, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This sentiment perfectly encapsulates the essence of resourcefulness, the courage to face challenges head-on and find paths where none seem to exist. Rules 48. The Courage to Be Your True Self Vulnerability is about opening the gates of your heart, allowing others to witness your true, unfiltered self. It's a journey of honesty and transparency, where you embrace your imperfections and share them with the world. Imagine yourself as a tree with vulnerability being the roots that ground you and connect you deeply with others. It's about saying, I am not afraid to show my true colors, to connect and build trust. Vulnerability is not a weakness but a strength fostering genuine connections and trust. As Marcus Aurelius wisely stated, accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This quote beautifully captures the essence of vulnerability, embracing and loving your true self and others, creating deep and meaningful connections in our modern lives. Rules 49. Balance Mind, Body, Spirit, Harmony. In the pursuit of a harmonious life, the concept of balance is paramount, especially for men between the ages of 30 and 65, who often juggle multiple responsibilities. Balance in mind, body, and spirit is akin to conducting a symphony of well-being, 
where each element plays a crucial role in creating a harmonious melody. It's about nurturing every aspect of your being, ensuring that your mental, physical, and spiritual health are in sync. Imagine it as a commitment to oneself, echoing the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This approach to life encourages a holistic and fulfilling existence where balance acts as the cornerstone of overall wellness and happiness. It's a reminder that in the modern hustle, taking time to align these aspects is not just beneficial, but essential for a contented life. Rules 50. Mindful Consumption Mindful consumption, particularly in today's consumer-driven society, is a vital practice. It's about being a discerning curator of your life, carefully selecting what you consume, be it food, media, or products. This practice involves a heightened awareness of the impact of these choices on your well, being, and the environment. It's akin to adopting the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who advised, Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? By aligning your values with your choices, you're not just making decisions for yourself, but also contributing to a more sustainable world. Mindful consumption is a call to action, urging you to choose wisely and thoughtfully, recognizing that each choice shapes not only your life, but also the world around you. It's a step towards personal and global sustainability, a testament to living a life that's not only good for oneself, but also respectful of the world we inhabit.